I could hardly have thought that when I was a kid in the streets um, uh, marching for what became the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission, I think we called it a Fair Employment Practices Commission, that I would uh, some years later come to chair such a mission. That's not how you want to do public service. You get in there where the fight is. And um, I became chair of, the, of that commission. I became, actually my career path was, was to indeed seek to do with my career what I wanted uh, to do with my life. And if I wanted to improve uh, civil rights for people of all kinds, then that's what you do with your life. That's what I became. That's why I became a civil liberties lawyer. That's why I became um, uh, a human rights commissioner of New York City when we lived there for some years, and chair of the EOC, and ultimately a professor of law. And coming to Congress was not what I had intended. Mm -hmm. like, it's kind of silly to start up saying, "Hey, I want to be a member of Congress." There are only 440 of us. It seems to me one starts saying, "What do you really want to do with your life?" Um, in Cong I, I consider myself an accidental congresswoman. When uh, I was growing up in Washington, Washington didn't have any member of Congress. It is one of the great shames of the United States that not, not until 1971 was there a representative like me in, in the House for a short time after the Civil War that was, but when my party, the Democrats, took back control in the late 19th century, that brief period of some representation only in the House disappeared. Now we are at the brink of not only getting a voting member of, of, of the House, but with a new president who's a good friend and a, a small D Democrat, as well as a, a large D Democrat. I think we're on, on the brink of bringing some democracy to the District of Columbia. As a kid growing up here, uh, there wasn't any mayor or city, or, or city council. The whole shebang was ruled <laughs> by, a, uh, by three commissioners. So you didn't exactly say, I'm going to grow up being a congresswoman when there wasn't any congresswoman. Now, of course, as a member of Congress, I, I get to vote in three committees. Um, I'm a chair of a subcommittee. But my folks pay income taxes like everybody else. I've gone to funerals uh, of young people killed in Iraq, like my colleagues, but we don't have the final vote on whether you go to Iraq or not, on whether your taxes get raised or lowered or not. We are shortly, I think, to correct that with um, the kind of Congress we now have and, of course, with the president-elect. This excerpt is brought to you by the Massachusetts School of Law, the leader of reform in legal education and a leader in multimedia education for the public. To view the full interview and for a full listing of MSL's programs, log on to mslaw.edu.